Hello, and thank you for calling. After the scream, leave your message. Ah! Oh my god! That's rude. What? What? <laughs> Why won't you just open the goddamn door? That's a truly psychotic person. Last time we met, this happened. Oh no. We parked the plane. Oh, the god. plane has stopped. Oh my god. The thing is at the door. We are all ready to leave. We are standing. I'm all of the such, demons I'm have gone psycho. off. We are waiting. Why won't you just open the goddamn door? I mean, open so I, I'm well aware that you door. can do rage really well. Oh my god. And you don't take any prisoners, which is brilliant. Wow. Okay. That's a truly psychotic person. <laughs> yeah, that was someone who'd come off a long flight and wanted to get out of that plane. Yeah. And then there was that brilliant moment with you on the red carpet where someone gave you away the spoiler to Homeland and you just like completely turned on the reporter which I thought was amazing. You know, Why are you doing this to me? Off. What? <laughs> she was like, they killed him off. And you're like, what? I know I'm that. always behind on shows. I have, I'm saving the last season of Game of Thrones like gold. <laughs> I watch them and then I like pause them and I'm like, I'll get back to it later. Well, we loved seeing those bits. And what we did is this time we got some of my listeners to send in their rages for you to have a little watch of. Oh, okay. So here's some of the listeners from my show. Do you know what really, really, really winds up my clock? So much better with a British People accent. People who talk about how many steps they've done. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. I really, really don't care. Yeah. I don't care how many steps you've done today. I don't care how many steps you've done yesterday. I certainly don't care what your weekly target is. <laughs> I'm only nodding and smiling to be polite. I really don't care. And quite frankly, I don't understand. I don't know 10,000 steps if that's a lot or nothing. <laughs> that could be my supermarket. Uh, I don't know. I really don't know. So please. I think please, today I've taken please. 10 steps. <laughs> Yeah, so how, how many is good? Is 10,000 good? I don't, I think I've taken actually 10. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> yeah. well, that's, I can tell you that's, zero. that's not good. <laughs> Where do you stand on people posting how, how long their run has been and things like that? Like, oh my God, I just did 10K. I, I don't, I mean, if that's like your life that you want to live where exercise makes you happy, I mean, just go, can we just put them all on an island <laughs> where we don't have to hear about it? Could be a good reality <laughs> show, actually. Could be great. Yeah. What are your top Well, one, gripes? I don't, I hate it when I'm in a bad mood and other people are in good moods. Oh. That really drives me nuts. If I'm in a bad mood, just be quiet. Okay. Don't be like, smile, everything's okay. The smile thing is so strange. It's, yeah. It tends to happen. When you're in a bad mood and you see somebody be happy, it just, you just hate them. Can I just check what mood are you in now so that I need to sort of match my mood to yours? Oh, I'm okay. I'm, I'm happy, I'm just quite depleted. <laughs> depleted. <laughs> so you want me to be as de sort of depleted I as I want well? you to stop eating and drinking water. <laughs> just. Okay, fine. <laughs> For you, I'll do it. Um, do you have another? Do you have any other gri gripes? Oh my God, when the hotel, if you forget the do not disturb. Oh hello. Yeah. That. And I have to wake up by a stranger at the foot of my bed. Like, when is that ever? Quietly enter the room, see if I'm sleeping. It's creepy, yeah. but it's better than me waking up and seeing you. What about people who knock on the toilet door of like a public toilet? Yeah, it's locked, so I'm in here. Do you ever say, "It's locked. I'm in here." No, I probably silent? just say fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just be silent. <laughs> if I'm just silent, they'll go away. Like I'm just plane. make like <laughs> fake fart noises. <laughs> and what would you say to the person who slowly opens your hotel door to change the bed sheets and stuff? Are you like a shout or are you like see them? Um, hello. I, I never know what to say when mm. housekeeping it. I'm I'm like no, <laughs> like, hello, no, no, asleep. And thank you. I, I never know what to say. Yeah, um, I don't want to tell the hotel maids to fuck off because at the end of the day, they are they have access to all my stuff. <laughs> okay, next one. Door etiquette or just people having manners. So, we're at a petrol station. Um, I'm coming out so I can see someone's approaching. Oh, I'm going to be polite. I'll leave the door open for you so you can just glide on in. I'm making your life easy. Nothing. No, thank Absolutely you. Absolutely nothing. That's rude. What? What yeah. are you doing? He's right. That's rude. What's happened to manners? That's like when you let somebody over in a lane in your car and they don't give a wave. Yeah. I'm from Kentucky. That's like unheard of. If so, somebody lets you into a lane, you have to wave or so you could get shot. If, so, <laughs> if somebody doesn't acknowledge it and say thanks to you, what do yeah, you if do? If I stop my car and you have no hope of getting into this lane without me, I've like, I've stood up for you. I've been like, wait, cars let this fella in and he doesn't wave, I feel like I want to chase him. Have you ever? 
I don't know. I don't <laughs> I know. I haven't had any blackout rages while behind the wheel. <laughs> would you respond with some sort of gesture of your own, perhaps, or a hoot? I'm sure I would never flick someone off. I'm not sure I believe you. <laughs> Do you have any other gri gripes of your, of your yeah, life? Yeah, I had one. Okay, so when you go into your hotel uh -huh. and they have the TV on playing that music that no one wants to hear, why would I ever want to hear the hotel lobby music? Why am I ever going to want to come home from a hard day of work and enter my hotel room and feel like I'm in the lobby? And then I have to find the remote. I never know where the remote is. And then I have to turn it off. Or worse, I don't realize that it's playing and that it's driving me nuts. And I get in the shower and then I come out of the bathroom and I realize that it's been playing for like 30 <laughs> minutes. And then by the time I hear it, I'm like, oh my God! It's sort of incidental, creepy music as well, isn't it? Yeah, always. It's yeah. like the loneliest music in the world. Hotel lobby music? But hotel... Play some reggae. <laughs> I, think, I think that hotels have got a lot of problems. So key cards is another thing. Like if you you get your key card from reception, they go, there you go, it's uh, room 245. And you'll take the elevator, da, da, da. And you get there. And it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, so yeah. You've got all your stuff. You're like, okay, you want to go back downstairs. And they go, can I help you? Yeah. Doesn't work. Does it not work? Yeah. Uh, I came all the way down to tell you it works. Thank you so much. <laughs> I just wanted to say again, thanks for all of your yeah, help. Yeah, thank you for that door. It worked fantastic. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Hi, Greg. Hi, Jennifer. Ooh. You might be able to hear that screaming in the background. Do you know what really annoys me? It's when the eldest child comes home from school and all hell breaks loose. <laughs> had a nice day? Me and the youngest one? Perfectly nice days. Been no screaming. Been no crying. Been she no obviously has a favourite child. <laughs> eldest one comes home and they're literally knocking seven bucks. See, there it is. That noise. <laughs> That noise. His head on the box. Oh. His head on the box. <laughs> <laughs> At least he hits his own head on the box. <laughs> Hit his head on the box. Yeah. Thank you for doing Rage today. We feel it like... It was really uh, easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> I liked it. I didn't sleep well last night. This is working out well for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jennifer, thank you so much for having a chat today. Yeah. Mother. How do we say it again? We're just saying mother or are we saying... I just say mother. I... Mother! 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 Maybe that's what I'll say when people knock on the bathroom door. <laughs> Mother! I hope you enjoyed the Jennifer Lawrence Rage Against the Arts Machine. I do that on my show every Wednesday at 10 past 5 on Radio 1, and I'd love you to be part of it. If you'd like to call and leave a voicemail, here's the number. Here. Yeah. Or if you'd like to send in a video of you doing a rage, then use this handy email address. Here. Yeah. It's across my face. <laughs>